the recent recession has hurt businesses across the country and around the world. But the video game industry has not only weathered the storm, it's thriving, drawing in more money and players than ever before. It needs to be scaled up. Kevin needs to be scaled down. Plenty of teenagers love to play video games, but few have tried the daunting task of building one. It's a lot of work and a lot of math and a lot of trial and error. These high school students have come to the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute for two weeks this summer to get a head start on learning the painstaking work that goes into making a game. I definitely want to work in some aspect in the game industry, whether it be programming or art or sound. It's a career path that appears to have a promising future. A recent report from the technology research firm Gartner estimates that game-related spending will surpass $74 billion in 2011. That's up more than 10 percent since last year. Much of that growth is attributed to social networking sites and mobile devices, which have attracted a new flock of followers with hits like Angry Birds. That's good news to people like Sheila Porter, a senior majoring in video game design at RPI. Games are nowhere near as narrow as they used to be. It's a huge thing. It's appealing to so many different people. Like you can buy Angry Birds t-shirts in almost any store at the mall now. It's ridiculous, but it's awesome. It means that games are becoming a lot more relevant. A lot more people are paying attention and there's a lot of potential for saying something that way. Over the past decade, video game design has become one of the fastest growing academic disciplines. According to the Princeton Review, there are now about 150 four-year degree programs nationwide. This year, their rankings highlighted two New York schools, the Rochester Institute of Technology and RPI's program, which was launched four years ago. This is the uh, code that lays out the actual level designs so I can add things. Uh, each one of these lines of code is some object in the world. Porter is one of only two women in her class pursuing a game design degree. For a long time, these virtual worlds were dominated by men. <laughs> But now researchers see the games starting to mimic the real world, where women make up about half the players. As long as that keeps happening, and it will, it'll just keep snowballing. Uh, more and more girls are going to get involved in games and want to make games. Lee Sheldon teaches game design at RPI and is co-director of the program. As a former Hollywood screenwriter, though, he believes something else has been missing from video games for a long time. Cyrax wins. Good storytelling. I got into games primarily because I felt that they weren't concentrating on writing enough. That, uh, the, and, and the thing that got me in the most trouble at the time was I said that the worst television show ever written was better than the best game ever written. But he says there are also plenty of simple games out there with no story needed. Four years ago, games were nothing on Facebook, and now they're one of their primary elements. Those smaller games are a lot easier to make and distribute, says Mike Del Preti. He's one of several RPI grads who's founded his own company not far from campus. Now, you know, it could just be me, you, and somebody else. We can make a little game. It could be a mobile game. It could be a casual game, a social game. Um, and there's a lot of, lot of channels for distribution to like, easily get that out there. His company called Agora Games is tucked away in a three-story walk-up in downtown Troy and employs just a few dozen people. But they're building interactive websites and tracking player statistics for some of the biggest blockbusters in the industry. Games like Call of Duty, Guitar Hero, uh, some recent games like Mortal Kombat, uh, Brink, work on Transformers. So a lot of a lot of you know large franchises that a lot of people play. Those big budget games still bring in big money, but senior Sheila Porter wants to stay small. After graduation, she and a few friends want to start up their own studio. A gamer at heart, she says she's not worried about a little competition. There's a huge, huge array of other small budget, small cost games out there that you now have to compete with. But the entry level uh, barrier is a lot lower than it used to be. So I think it's more exciting than it is scary.